So the first of the three fences over the Grand National three fences, the first of the three races over the Grand National fences this week then comes up next. This is the Hunter's Chase and it's a two mile five furlong naught to one ten and the top one is LJ's rolling for Thomas Rogers, who's also got El Sophia Mella. Miss Waki Asset for Ryan Costello, Rabalma for Graham Clutterbuck, Thunderbirds Argo, Paul Rhodes, Close Up for Alex Cherry, Harold Bond for Ryan Costello, International Rescue for Paul Rhodes, and Romana for Martin Leadham down the bottom end. So nine of them called in, and away they go. Pretty small field for this with a low rating, and then to the first of them, and Romana is over in the lead. And not the best of jumpers this one, so it's a bit of a surprise to see it running over the big Grand National fences. I really shouldn't say that because it's mine and I'm the one that put it in it. But anyway, there you go. As we come down to the next, that will be the last on the next circuit. And they're going to make their way now towards the chair and Romana is going to lead from Rabalma in second. So it's almost like Brazilian football. So is it Romana and Rabalma as they come down towards the chair then and over it they go and they're all safely over the chair with Romana in front, Rabalma second and then El Sophia Mella just about showing in third with LJ's rolling after that one close up is the only grey in the field as they take the water and they'll now swing left handed round this sharp bend and make their way for a full complete circuit of the Grand National fences and the next fence they take will be the one that will be the first in the big race tomorrow and Rabalma and Rabat Ramana are disputing the lead with El Sophia Mano just behind in third and then close up an international rescue but they're very tightly grouped, these are almost group like sprinters at the moment as they cross over the Melin Road and make their way towards the fence that will be the first in the big one and Ramana is going to lead into it with Rabalma in second and Romana's gone and so too has Miss Wacky Asset so they probably could have got a decent bet on Romana not getting round today and sadly she's out of the race and so too is Miss Wacky Asset so we're down to just seven then now and Rabalma's the leader as they come down to what will be that big ditch in the Grand National Bank I think it's called and did we lose another one there we did indeed International Rescue's gone so International Rescue will indeed need to call for International Rescue the way things are going as they come down to the next one then we won't have anybody left by the time we get to Valentine's but it's Rabalma and Ilje's rolling and Elsa Fia Mellor are disputing the lead three in a line from Harold Bold and close up and then Thunderbirds are go so the International Rescue might be gone but we've still got the Thunderbirds as they get over number nine and make their way down this long line of fences then which of course will culminate in the in Beaches Brook before they'll swing towards Fornhaven and the canal turn. And as they come down to Beaches then over it they go and LJ's rolling is the leader from Harold Bold in second. And then El Sophia Meta and Thunderbirds are go with Rabalma who was the early leader. Now the back marker but probably no more than ten lengths off the lead as they head towards the canal turn the riderless Romana might get in the way here. With LJ's rolling now, good five lengths clear as the crowd that have assembled around the canal turn. Watch them go over it, and we watch them over it too. And LJ's rolling's clear, clear by a good four or five lengths to close up, who is in second. Then Rabalma is third, and Thunderbirds are going. And then El Sophia Miller and Harold Bold is out of sight as they get over Valentine's and make their way now towards the final part of the race. And they've just got four more to go. And this is the fourth from home. It's the, it's the fifth from home. There's another one gone there. There's another one down. And it was Thunderbirds are go this time. So both of Paul Rhodes are out as they make their way down towards what is the fourth from home. The final ditch. And over that one they go. And then an old James Rollins in the lead from close up in second. And then Rabama third. And then comes El Sophia Mella in fourth. They're racing there and then towards the business end of the race. This is the third last. Over it they go. Slow jump there by close up Rabama. There is stalking El James Rollins. El James Rollins in the lead. They're crossing over the Melon Road now, making their way towards home. They've got just two more fences to take across, and then that long, long running. And it's Rabalma who's just come up on the outside of LJ's rolling. El Sophia Miller is in third. Close up is in fourth, and Harold Bold is nowhere to be seen. They're coming now towards the final two fences, and it's three in a line almost now. And two of them are Thomas Rogers, and it's El Sophia Miller on the outside. And LJ's rolling on the near side with him between the two of them. Graham Clutterbox, Rabalma then trying to run. It's the great close up for Alex Jerry. They're racing now towards the final two fences you can just see the shadow of Harold Bolt they come down towards the second last and look at the grey on 
the outside. The Grey's really beginning to get up now. Close up has begun to take the lead. Close up's in front from LJ's Royal and El Sophia Mena. They've only got one to jump. It's close up on the near side. And LJ's Royal on the far side. El Sophia Mena between the two at the final fence. They all got over it well. Raban was beaten in fourth. But it's close up who's in the lead. Close up by a bad neck then. Close up from LJ's Royal and El Sophia Mena. Raban was trying to run on again and maybe isn't beaten. It's close up in front from LJ's Royal and El Sophia Mena. Here comes Rabalma on the outside. They're inside the final half. Along. It's almost three in the line. And Rabalma is beginning to get up now. Rabalma from LJ's Royal and Rabalma makes a fall of the commentator. Rabalma takes it. LJ's Royal in second. LJ's Royal in third. Close up fourth. And Harold Bolt back in fifth. And only just over half the field got round. And he didn't expect it to be quite so dramatic as that with such a small field. But it certainly was. And Rabalma look beaten coming to the last but long running has definitely helped as you can see there ran in snatches but that is probably a plan all the way for Graham Clutterbuck so Rabalma takes it for Graham Clutterbuck Thomas Rogers unlucky second and third with LJ's rolling and Elsa Fiamella close up for Alex Cherry looked all over the winner jump in the last was fourth and Harold Bold was somewhere drifting fifth but still picks up a decent bit of prize money